Hello everyone, myself Soumya, Assistant Professor in CSC ML Department, MLR Institute of Technology. So in this video, we are going to discuss about reading data from web form controls in PHP. So this is the overview of this presentation, how to read the data from HTML forms, example application and what is get and post method and what is the difference between get and post methods. So generally we know PHP is a server side programming. So whenever you request something to the server, so request in the sense obviously you will do the request through some html forms so from this html forms how the php program will read the data how it will process the data and how, how it will generate the results so all those things you're going to uh, learn in this video so basically we are giving you are raising the request through html forms how this request is reaching to the php program that we are going to see especially in this video so this is an example to read the data from html form so first you need to define write a html program here so in this html program so form so for this form you are taking two different attributes here one is action and the other one is method so this action when this action will execute in the sense so whenever you click on submit button of this particular form then this action attribute will work so here we have a submit button whenever you click on the submit button where this page will be redirected the page will be redirected to welcome dot php it's a php program that means it's a server side program so it is going to validate the data or it is going to uh, take the data from your form and i also have another attribute here method so the method value i'm giving as post <coughs> so what is the use of this method so this data whatever the data you are filling in this html form this is it is going to reach the php so this is your html form and this is your backend php so whatever the data you are writing so this is going to transfer like this so here how this data will be transferred so we have two different types of methods one is get and the other one is post if i don't write any method by default method is get method so how this data will be transferred if i use get method Whatever the data you are giving, the same thing will be transferred. For example, name I am giving as Soumya and email I am giving as Soumya at gmail.com, something like this. The same thing, same thing without encryption or without any security, the data will be transferred to PHP whenever you use a get method. Here it is name and email, it's fine. But if I have a field like password, the password also will be sent to the PHP program directly it will be visible to all the users that means there is no security when you use the get method if you want to secure your method then you should use the method as post so in the post method whatever the data you are writing you are filling the form the data will be encrypted and the encrypted data will be sent to the php file so that's why you have to mention the method as post if you want to secure your data but if i don't write any method i I'm not writing method attribute in the form, then the by default method will be considered as get. That's all. So now I'm creating two different fields here. One is name and email. So to create the name, I mean to access the name, I'm writing input type is equal to text. And I should also give name for each and every tag in your program, in your HTML form. So what is the name for the first, first field? Name. And the name for second field is email right and followed by submit button so after filling this name and email if i click on submit this page will be redirected to welcome.php so you'll see what welcome.php will do now so that's all i'm closing this html form so this is welcome.php so here we are going to discuss about the two arrays so one is dollar underscore get and the other one is dollar underscore post so these two are global arrays uh, which will be used to store this form data so you're going to send this data to php form through this arrays only so which array i should use in my program now so that can be decided based on your method so here if you use the method as post now i should take this dollar underscore post method if you use the method as get here then here i should use the method as uh, array as dollar underscore get so these two arrays are associative arrays so what is mean by associative array it will store the values in terms of key value space so what about key and what about value so 
I told you that you should give name for each and every field. So, whatever the name you are giving, these will be considered as keys. So, name is one key and email is another key. What about value? The name entered by the user, the value entered by the user will act as a value. So, these are keys and these are values and all these things you are going to save in the array called post. Why? Because your method is post. This you are not going to save, this will be automatically saved. So, the PHP program will access the data using these two arrays dollar underscore post or dollar underscore get. So, in the welcome.php program, I am just writing a PHP program, I am simply printing dollar underscore post of name dollar underscore post of email. What about this name value? Name value is Soumya and email value is Soumya at gmail.com. This is in my program. So, this, this blank page will be uh, given in the output screen. Whatever the values you are entering, the same thing will be printed here. So, this is the PHP program. See here, whatever I am giving, the same values will be displayed in the um, output. So, how um, in this way, the PHP program will take the data from the HTML forms. So, we will try to execute this program. So, here I should write two different programs. One is HTML and the other one is PHP. So, I am storing as 12.html. And this as a welcome.php. Now, right. So, you have HTML file as well as PHP file, but you need to execute only the HTML file. That HTML file internally will call the PHP file. So, I am just executing my HTML file. So, I am giving Soumya and Soumya at gmail.com. If I click on submit, so I am getting the same values, whatever you are entering in the text fields, the same thing I am getting here. So, this is the output which is generated by welcome.php. So, get versus post. So, just now I discussed what is get and what is post. So, these are the two methods uh, which are used to send the data from HTML form to PHP. So, now what is the, uh, I mean like these two are arrays, dollar underscore guest, uh, get and dollar underscore post. So, both these are arrays. So, these are these two arrays are used to transfer the data from HTML form to PHP. I am coming to the difference. So, if I use get method, it can transfer only 1024 characters at a time. So, in a normal file, uh, okay, 1024 characters are fine. But if I am, I am applying for any job application, they, they will ask for the resume to upload my resume. So, to uh, the resume or the same thing, I may copy the resume or I may upload the resume. So, the uh, resume characters, it will be more than 1024 characters at that time, get is not possible. And get method, if you have a password or other sensitive information, the same thing, it will be sent. I mean, it will not provide any encryption or any security for your password or your sensitive information. And it cannot send images or word documents to the PHP. So, these are the different disadvantages using get method. To overcome this problem, you are going to use the post method. So, there is no restriction in the data size, right? And it, right, binary data, it will be considered as ASCII data. And if you have any uh, passwords or sensitive information, that data will be converted, I mean, encrypted, and then the encrypted data will be sent, right? And one more advantage is. Uh, Right, it can send all the data, uh, like over data, images, data, everything. Why? Because it will convert the data into in the binary form. By converting into ASCII characters, it will send the data in the form of binary data. So, that is about uh, uh, post versus get. So, overall, post method is a secure method. So, whenever you want to transfer some sensitive information, then you need to choose the post method only. So, in this video, we have seen about 
how to read the data from waveform controls, uh, how the PHP form will receive this data, in what are the different methods to send this data like get method and post methods and what are the get dollar underscore get array dollar underscore post array. So, we have seen all these with the example application. Thank you.